Hey guys, Delt here with the third part of this series. After our last game, we hit level 10, and since I'm currently using an arming sword, I decided to go with Warsong to help out with some melee fights. Now when we use our Shriek, we're debuffing the enemy's armor and physical power, while also boosting our own weapon damage. This perk also works great when kiting with our survival bow, uh, because we use Lament of Langor and Accelerando throughout that to continue to stay away. Rapier Mastery, Superior Dexterity, and Lore Mastery are all also really great build choices here. But I'm trying to limit test my damage while in the lower ranks again. So then when we push into the higher, like, Upper Wanderer, Pathfinder, and maybe even past that, I'll know exactly how I want to play it and what gives the best damage output. And this is the spawn where I got killed by the Barbarian last time. So I'm sort of just slowly pushing that way, and then I might skip one room to be able to just push in and see if there's someone there, fight them, and then I'll come back and loot. And so it's right after I kill this skeleton that I go and check the door. I didn't want an axeman to be following me as I did that because that would not be a good time. But instead, the warlock, who is the enemy here, opens the door and checks himself. So I'm going to take a few shots with the survival bow. If he backs up, I'm going to run up with Shriek of Weakness. The only thing that I'm scared of, the only thing that I'm scared of is Blow of Corruption. If I get hit by that, I will die. So if I see that he uses it, I just back up again, wait like eight seconds, and then go in and fight him in melee. He did hit me with one Curse of Pain. And then for some reason, he also hit me with Power of Sacrifice. If you're playing Warlock, or if you're ever deciding to, I wouldn't recommend using Power of Sacrifice in PvP because you are giving people strength and vigor when you use it um so that just made me a little bit more tanky i did notice that he procced blow of corruption uh when he pe peeked out of the doorway at one point he had a red glow on his sword that's sort of why i just backed up again and waited a second and then i went in if he hit me with that i would have been dead Also, once you get a buckler, it makes dealing with the axemen and the spearmen so much easier than if you didn't have one. Um, whenever they do their overhead swings or their forward stabs, you can just sidestep them. And then whenever they do their side swipe swings, you can just put your shield up. Just put it like up to where your face is and turn that way and it shouldn't hit you. I do know that you can crouch walk forward left when they do those swings and it shouldn't hit you. That seems very inconsistent to me though, like I always get hit by it anyway, so I'd prefer to just have a buckler and just put the shield up when they do those swings.
And since the Warlock kill, this has basically just been a loot simulator. I'm just trying to fill up on as much things that I can use at this point as possible. And if I'm getting other gear that sells good along the way, that's great. I'm also the least used to the arming sword from any other bard weapon. I haven't played a lot of fighter. And since we did hear that portal spawn, we know where it is. I am just going to open it to be safe. I don't want a PDR fighter running in and then have nothing I can really do about it other than run away. I'd rather just have an escape ready since I have this much loot. But in all reality, this is basically the end of this round. And I decided just to throw this in because it was a wizard and a bard fighting. This bard threw three drums in basically melee range and missed all of them. I would probably do the same thing so I can't really fault him for that. If you're in this situation, stop throwing drums. There's no reason, you're already basically on top of him. Just get into melee range and start swinging, you'll kill him in two, maybe three hits. Wizards have a base health of like 80. Alright, and for our next game, we got the spider spawn. So probably kill the skelly champ and then move on. Both of those liars were basically completely useless, so I don't know why I swapped them there. And this is the kind of awkward thing about this spawn that happens sometimes. If you're not in the perfect spot, he's gonna knock you off, or you'll just sort of be standing on him, which pushes you off. At that point, if you ever played Call of Duty Zombies, where you like run around in a big circle and train all the zombies, that's basically what you have to do here until you have no other mobs on you and you can get back into the spot. So that's what I have to do. And then we're good. We take one or two hits, but the health shrine is there, so whatever. Small correction, three hits.
and the zone's closing so as soon as we heal on up we gotta get going Part of me was thinking about dropping down for the lion's head here, but instead I just decided to hit these barrels instead. They also have really good loot sometimes, so might as well check them out. I also decided to do this because it felt a little bit safer. There's only two ways up from when you drop underneath to where the lion's head is. When you're here, you're already in a spot where you can fight. If you need to go up the stairs, you can. If you want to back up into zone a little bit, you can. It just felt a lot safer to me. Tetris. And here we have another bard. I actually get really outplayed here. Um, I didn't hit him with my survivable at all, and he hit me with a crossbow and a drum. So we just had to really outplay the melee fight. Luckily, I was just geared a little bit better, or he was missing health. Okay, and after we finish playing around with our loot a little bit more, we're going to take the escape portal behind us and get going. So if you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and anything helps if you can give me a like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I really hope that y'all have a great day, and thanks for coming and watching. Peace.